study. I've got here the complete writings of uh, Dr. Lerpus Sleuth. This book is a real find. Uh, I had to search high and low. I, I won't even tell you what I had to go through to get a copy of this. But what's interesting is this uh, transistor, one of the key alloys in it that makes it work is slufanium. And I got a sample. And it looks to me like the real potential for uh, perpetual motion device and over unity devices um, that we can do easily, that anybody with uh, an exciter circuit, a Tesla coil, or a device like that ought to be able to do easily, is found in Dr. Lerpus Sleuth's uh, book um, under the chapter The Nature of Water. There's a good 100, 200 pages of information on the nature of water here, and a lot of this stuff isn't taught in the books today. I mean, this is really, really good stuff here. So, well worth reading about um, Slufanium. I will try to find a good source and, and share that with you all. But let me go over the, the key components, the key parts of this experiment here. We've got the, uh, the Tesla coil, which will energize. And I had to, to ramp it up. I did a preliminary experiment with this, and I was able to tell that this experiment had potential. It was on a very small scale. So I had to build up a, a big unit to test the experiment on this uh, scale. But the results were so encouraging on the small scale and the expansion of water that I decided it was well worth it to go ahead and scale this up. So I'm going to video the, uh, the results of this experiment on a scaled up size. I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, let me just start the, uh, the coil here so you can see the action. Uh, it just takes a little tap, uh, like the jewel ringer circuits. Oh yeah, you can see the lights on the table even coming on. That, that thing just lights right up. And we got a real nice uh, plasma arc coming off the side here. Uh, we have wireless uh, power all through the room now. You can see that, that this room is just energized up. I can come up here to the, uh, the pots and pans and you see when I touch to them, a lot of energy. This whole area is just flowing with energy. And uh, that's, that's what you need for this experiment. And like I said, I tried on a smaller scale and had some success, but this is uh, scaled up. So we'll, we have the uh, coil running, we've got our water, and this is the water we're going to be doing the uh, water expanding experiment with, uh, based on the, the good doctor's work, Dr. Lerp Lerpa Sleuth. A little bit of slophonium uh, sample here to drop in. So um, we're pretty much ready to go in this experiment. I'm going to go ahead and get the books and uh, paper out of here, and we'll try this. Okay, so ready to uh, do the experiment here, and this is based on the good doctor's work on the um, nature of water, and we're going to try to get this water to expand. Um, you can see down in here I've got the um, slufonium metal down in there, and that metal comes in on the galvanic scale between uh, gold and platinum, so there's no chance on that metal uh, corroding anytime soon. So if this experiment works, and if we get any expansion of water, you can see right now, let me move, move back here, it's, it's about two-thirds full. If we get even a quarter inch or half an inch expansion of water, uh, this, this experiment has a lot of potential. So um, what I need to do here to, uh, to get this experiment to work, on my last try I had a much smaller uh, setup and it was promising. This is a bigger coil I, I set up. Um, you can see when you makes the lights in your house start to glow dimly and uh, other fluorescent lights start coming on, you're probably about right. I've got a tuned antenna on top of this water and a coil going around the water uh, to the specifications that the good doctor gives. So let's see, see what happens here. See if this is anything like I got on my last. Oh, let's get to make connection to the plasma. Oh, there we go. Look at that, folks. We got the connection to plasma. Uh, I'm not seeing any expansion of water, though. Uh, it's starting to turn red hot. Come on. When it snaps just right. Uh, there we go. I see the water expanding. Oh, look at that. It's taking off. It's a chain reaction. Hey, honey. Sweetie. Give me a stainless steel bowl, quick. Oh, no. Water and electricity. Bad combination. Here, sweetie. Put that down. Oh, man. This is way beyond... Way beyond anything that happened in the, uh... Grab a towel, sweetie! Is it still coming? I don't believe it. It's still expanding, sweetie. Yeah. Here. Put that bigger container here and I'll transfer over. Let me... Here, come... Go! 
get a measuring cup, sweetie, and we'll do, let's see if we can measure the rate coming out of this. See how, how long it takes to fill a cup. And this is just crazy. What's going on? It's a, some sort of resonance between the Tesla coil and the sulfanium. Uh, take, take the measuring cup and hold it under there. and I want to see how long it takes to fill, fill one cup's worth. This is just... Okay. This is just crazy. Really good results. Oh, wow. Well, I'll, I'll keep this going. I, I'm, I'm excited. This is, this is way beyond anything I was expecting. So the obvious next step in this experiment will be to get a, a, a paddle wheel going and see if the energy created on the paddle wheel is, is more than the Tesla coil is putting out. But so far, um, this just looks so promising. Good job, sweetie. So I don't know, about a minute probably to fill. What, what is that? A quart. A quart. Wow, about a quarter minute. Just incredible. testing the rate of flow there. It's flowing at a fairly consistent rate, so we ought to be able to experiment with this and uh, come up with some really good machines. <laughs>